Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Rebalance LND on an Umbrella node. So, if you're looking to do that, this video is for you. But if you're looking to learn how to actually use Rebalance LND, I recommend checking out this video here by Jonathan Levi. It's a very good video with lots of helpful information on how to actually use the tool. Uh, link in the description down below if you want to check that out. And basically, we're going to be following these instructions right here. So, of course, I'll include a link to these in the description down below this video. So let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. So first things first, we need to log into your Umbrella's SSH via a command line tool on your computer terminal on Mac, for example, or on PC here. I'm going to do the command prompt. So I just went to search and typed in CMD. And we got command prompt. So here we go. And now we can go ahead and do the instructions that it says. We can copy and paste it if we want to, or you can go ahead and type it in. I'll just type this first line in here. Umbrel at umbrel.local. And now we got to go ahead and enter our Umbrel password. So I'll do that real quick. All right, so there we go. We are inside of our Umbrel no node now. And now next step is to create a directory on the SSD for the plugin file so it doesn't get erased upon updates or SD card reflashes. So we got our line here, sudo make directory flag p. I'm not sure what the p means, uh, maybe path. But anyway, it gives us the, the folder path that we want to go ahead and create. Now, I'm not going to do this bit because it becomes redundant if we include it here. Excuse me. So I'm just going to run this command right here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, paste that in there. And it asks for our password again. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there, run it. And now we should have that new folder created. So we can go ahead and actually CD or change directory to that folder. So I'm going to CD change directory to this folder. And we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. And so now I'm in the management maintenance, I don't know, MNT data upgrades folder. And our next step is to go ahead and get clone. And so we're basically going to download the rebalance LND onto our node when we do this step here. So we'll do git clone and rebalance and git. And we'll run it. And we get an issue where permissions denied. So I was expecting this. And there's a lot of helpful information down here. So if you're following these instructions or this video and you're getting stuck, uh, come here. I'm sure that somebody else has had the same issues that you have had. Uh, so come down here and uh, hopefully they'll help you um, get through wherever you're stuck. So what I found out was that I needed to do the sudo first in front of the git command. So we'll do sudo git. And there we go. So now it went ahead and installed and all that other stuff. So cool. All right, the next step we got to do is install Python three. So we got this command right here. So we're going to take that and we're going to go ahead and run it. And we see that we get an error message right here as well. So I again, I had to go to the bottom here and figure out why I was getting this error message. And it's because I need to do the entire path to this requirements uh, file right here, requirements.txt. So let me do, I'm gonna just throw that line right there. And then my, the, the line should be this right here. So we got the M, M and T data upgrades. And then let's see here. So we can do ls. So we list this out so we could actually change directory and do mnt. Now, I'm no professional at the command prompt, so there might be faster ways to uh, navigate it, but this is, I'm doing the best I can with what I know, okay? So rebounds lnd is what we were looking for. And then if we list the files here, we can actually see that one file, requirements.txt file that we're trying to, trying to locate. So we got to throw rebalance rebalance l and d slash so this is our full command right there and then we'll paste it in here and now hopefully it's going to go ahead and install python 3. now i've actually already installed it so it was very quick but the first time i installed it it did take about 20 minutes to do it so when it says that it may take a long time be patient it, yeah it took me about 20 minutes the first time i installed it and yeah but since I've already installed it, it's already ready to go. So now we can check that it's working by listing your channels. Run this command. So we're going to go ahead and run that command real quick. 
and hopefully, you know, it works. So we'll run that. And look at that. It listed all of my channels out here and the amount of local liquidity and the amount of remote liquidity right there. So there's all my channels just like that. And it says try a 100,000 sat rebound. So this is a little bit of how the program works. So we might as well do the test while we're here. So in the command line, we're gonna go ahead and do this amount. And we wanna grab the, we wanna rebalance to the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab C, the A Bitcoin right there. So let's paste that in there. So we have our full line right there. I'm just gonna paste it in there and run it. And it's gonna go out there and do its little magic trick. And it gives me this message right here, which I don't quite understand at this time. Again, I just installed it and I'm trying to figure it out. But since I encountered several errors when I was trying to install it, I figured I'd shoot a video to hopefully help somebody else that's trying to install it overcome those errors. So hopefully this video was helpful to you in installing it. And again, check out this guy's video right here if you wanna learn more about how that tool actually works and the functions and features of it. Uh, really helpful video, link in the description down below. And if you found my video helpful, I appreciate it. Source of likes, comments, subscribes. Have a great rest of the day.